Admit it, Karen. Sumner's offer will get us all off the hook. I don't like it. I don't care if you like it or not. Nobody likes the situation we're in, but he's offering us a way out. Now, you have to help me convince Gary to sell Empire Valley. Not necessarily. Not necessarily? What, do you have some magic way to reverse the pollution? Look, why are you so anxious to sell Gary's land to Sumner? You're getting a commission or something? Perfect, Karen, just perfect. Now's a great time to get personal. The fact of the matter is that I was supposed to get Empire Valley in the divorce. What? Yeah. So I stand to lose one hell of a lot in this deal, but I'll do it to save Lotus Point. Oh, how very noble of you, Abby. That's then right. tell me, why do you trust Greg Sumner? I don't. We will get it in writing. He gets the land, he guarantees to clean up the pollution, and that's the end of it. Well, I don't trust him. Nobody does. Trust our attorneys to write a contract that will bind him. He'll break it. He'll... We'll sue him. We'll lose. We are losing, Karen. Because of your stubbornness, we're losing Lotus Point. So it's either Sumner's deal or live with the pollution. No alternatives, huh? That's right. Don't think that cleaning it up ourselves is an alternative because it's not. We don't have the resources. And it's naive to think that we do. Well, it's naive of you to trust Greg Sumner. More facts? The water from Empire Valley is polluted. What more facts do you need? The EPA currently has over 800 sites identified for its priority list. And the GAO predicts over 350,000 waste sites are going to require some kind of corrective action. So we're waste site number 350,001. I didn't say that. What I said was your priority status is yet to be determined. After a needs assessment. Followed by a preliminary study. To see if a full-scale official study is warranted. And a feasibility study and a remedial feasibility study. My God, you could study this problem to death. Don't you feel the urgency in this? Doesn't the danger worry you? Isn't poison something you do something about? These things take time. How much time? You may conservatively expect the appeals to last for years. Toxic waste tort claims are breaking new legal ground. Even though Galveston Industries admits that they dumped those chemicals, I mean, it is a matter of public record. The dumping or disposal may be a matter of public record, but the effects of that disposal are another matter entirely. How can there be any question? We have to prove that the pollution comes directly from the chemicals Galveston Industries disposed of. The testing alone could take years. <sighs> I just want you to be realistic about the prospect of a lawsuit, Mrs. Ewing. I don't mean to discourage you. Really? You could have fooled me. Sumner's offer is starting to look reasonable. It'll never be reasonable to me. I don't know. The man just said we may never even see any federal money. <sighs> Have you considered taking your problem to State Senator Henderson? Who's Senator Henderson? Billy Henderson, of course. He chairs the committee. On natural resources and environmental protection. He's gotten more than one special appropriation bill through the state legislature to take care of emergencies like yours. Why didn't I think of that? Billy Henderson's a friend of Max who was legally responsible for the pollution and in the time that it would take to try the case either the bad publicity and or the pollution could force us to close Lotus Point permanently. We're going to try to clean this up ourselves, aren't we? Karen and I will be meeting tomorrow with our bankers to talk about financing the cleanup, but uh, even with enough money, the job could take years. Well, we're also scheduling a meeting with State Senator Billy Henderson uh, to discuss the possibility of an emergency appropriation. And bill. we are giving very serious consideration to a private investor who wants to clean up the pollution in exchange for being permitted to buy Empire Valley. Thank you very much for coming this evening. Good night. I'm not even giving his offer serious consideration. We give all serious offers consideration. Why don't you be honest with these don't people, you talk Karen? Don't you honesty, girls, Abby. Girls, come on. Karen, let's go. It was a nice meeting, Abby. We'll do it again sometime. I suppose I should thank you for that. Oh, don't be hasty. You know, while you're away, she may crown herself Empress of California. Guys, take care of this, will you? Karen, the senator is waiting. Excuse us. Sorry. Excuse me. 
Bell. What? Um, thanks for coming. Oh, it's okay. It meant a lot to Karen. Well, I know. Uh, I knew that it would. Where's Ben? So what are these, Eric? Well, these are a couple researchers who specialize in neutralizing chemical pollutants. Mac figures that are worth a shot. So we're supposed to be the red carpet treatment. Where did Mac find these guys? He didn't. Jill Bennett did. Yeah, she's been researching this kind of stuff for years. <sighs> Depressing subject. <laughs> yeah, it's worse for her. You know, she grew up in West Fall. And that's where that polluted water is. Her family used to own an Empire Valley. <laughs> I swear, Mac. Mac says she believes that Paul Galveston stole the land from her family or cheated him out of it or something. I don't know. I guess she's pretty bitter about it, too. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Senator Henderson's waiting for you. Oh, good. And I'm leaving. Oh, well, thanks for staying, Peggy. Oh, sure, Mrs. McKenzie. Senator. Mac. Long time no see. <laughs> I figured two weeks no see. Thanks Mrs. for coming. McKenzie? In. Senator. I really appreciate it. Ben, I was in town. Well, in that case, no thanks for coming in. <laughs> Listen, we've got a problem. The Empire Valley pollution? Mm -hmm. Bad news travels fast. Can you help us? Well, it's uh, too late, I'm afraid. But the expert said that the... No, no excuse me, Mrs. McKenzie. I, I meant it was too late for me. I'm retiring. you been? Oh, my God, held up. What? Lotus Point isn't worth your full attention? I said I was sorry. I what know happened Lotus Point is only one of your investments. Maybe it doesn't mean a lot to you. What happened in there? Look, because of the size of the thing and the danger involved, the insurance on the excavation alone will cost two and a half million dollars. Because of the contamination, Lotus Point itself isn't good as collateral. They won't even give us money to do the research to find out how bad the problem really is. But Greg could clean it up. He's got the money. Gee, that'd keep it in the family, wouldn't it, Mrs. Oh, Sam? come on. Give Gary, me a break. If you break All my right hand, now, giving you please. a break. Look, what? Let's just calm down and talk about it. Williston Industries' disposal practices were perfectly legal. Uh, regrettable, but legal. Who are the principal users of Empire Valley Water? Besides the corporation's industrial use, the polluted aquifer serves the township of uh, Westfall and the unincorporated area nearby uh, and the resort uh, community of Lotus Point. What are you going to do about it? 34 people have checked out since 5 o'clock. Now with this... Well, so far, we got about 40 canceled bookings over the next six weeks, another 10 on hold, and that guy from the pediatrics convention called and he said he wanted to talk to somebody. I told him you get back to him. I got to get on my way if I'm going to make it to the hospital before visiting hours are over. And don't worry, one good thing about arsenic poisoning is it's not contagious. Don't even joke about it. Say hi to Charlie Lee for me, okay? I will. Charlie Lee, our groundskeeper? Yeah, Charlie Lee. He's still in the hospital? <laughs> Poor Charlie. He's been here forever, even before we inherited the land. Well, are we absolutely sure that he got it here? I mean, he could have gotten it somewhere don't. else. Don't. Even start, Abby. Don't you start, Karen. Here we are, faced with the worst disaster imaginable, and all you can do is come up with little niceties. Tell Charlie Lee hello for me? How about telling Charlie Lee that we're doing something about we his problem? Do we're not doing a damn thing, Karen. You're sitting on this when there's a perfectly good solution right at hand. I consider Greg Sumner to be the problem, not the solution. Wouldn't it be more accurate to say you can't stand the fact that Greg Sumner can deal with a problem that Karen McKenzie can't? He's not trustworthy. The last time he had control of Empire Valley, somebody died because of his deceit. For heaven's sake, Abby, if I thought for one minute... If you would really... admit for one minute that he can fix something that you can't, we would be halfway to saving Lotus Point, but your idealism is getting all mixed up with your pride, Karen. And apparently your pride is more important than Lotus Point. And God knows we have to save Karen's pride, even if it costs us Lotus Point. 
That's the bottom line, Karen. Admit it. That's the bottom line. Well, I'll tell you something. If you don't convince Gary to sell Empire Valley to Greg Sumner, you can kiss Lotus Point goodbye. You don't have to say anything. It's just that I, I, uh, I feel like I should say I'm sorry for what's happening. It's not your fault. You know, I really feel caught in the middle here. I mean, I wish there was something I could do or say. You've done everything that you could possibly do. I know that. And I really do appreciate it, Laura. Well, I, does it help if I tell you that I do believe Greg? And I, I believe that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. As long as you're happy. You know, I do love him, but I never said I respected him. Oh, Laura, you're the best thing that's ever happened to him. Oh, this is crazy. I mean, this is really nuts. I came here to make you feel better, and I'm depressed, and you're trying to cheer me up. Bye. Bye. Poor Laura. She's so confused. Well, that's what happens when a nice person marries a jerk. Not fair. It's just not fair. No, it's not. Say something else. Say, Karen, it's going to be all right. Say that. Say, Karen, we're going to pull through this. Just don't agree with me. Let's go to bed. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Well, you can't fix things by losing more sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk to you of all people like that. Hi, Eric. Charlie Lee is dead. I'm not going to be responsible for any more sickness. For any more death. Closing Lotus Point. Ben, I see you got my message on time. I did, yes. Thank you very much. Huh, there she is. Scott, let's move up close. There's a Mrs. Ewing approaching the podium now. Cut. Let's get in the middle Come on. Thank you for coming out here so early in the morning. Yesterday, Greg Sumner announced that due to the polluted aquifer that serves the areas contiguous with Empire Valley, the water here at Lotus Point might be contaminated. <laughs> Let me put a stop to that rumor right now. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the drinking water here at Lotus Point. We have uh, had a team of top health experts test the water since we received word that there was a leak at the wayside at Empire Valley. All of us here are uh, unified in our desire to protect the health and well-being of our staff and our guests. Now, I have been drinking this water for years. I drank it yesterday, the day before, and uh, I will continue to drink it. To your health, ladies and gentlemen. As a matter of fact, it's good. <laughs> now, please don't get the idea that we're not concerned. We certainly are, and we, were, we are monitoring our uh, water supply daily, but there is absolutely no reason for panic.
you for a minute? No, Mrs. McKenzie. Take it by the tennis court. I'll no, have him right wait. Hold it a second. Come on, make up your mind. For sure not. Mr. Ferrano, um, this is a little difficult for me, so I guess I just might as well be direct. We're closing Lotus Point, but we hope to reopen soon. But why? I thought we were doing so well. Well, we have a problem. There is no problem. I want to make that clear. I want your viewers and your readers to know that. Mrs. Ewing, it seems both you and Senator Sumner agree that there is water contamination at Empire Valley. But how do you plan to prevent the possibility of future contamination of your water? We are addressing ourselves to that very question right now. But we plan to keep Lotus Point open as the cleanup proceeds. Can you tell us anything about the cleanup? Now, Galveston Industries formerly owned Empire Valley, but isn't it public knowledge that your husband, Mr. Ewing, is presently a part owner? Now, is he prepared to make this enormous financial commitment to this cleanup? My husband is currently working with the EPA and other state and federal agencies to implement the cleanup. Now, Mrs. Ewing, how do the other owners of Empire Valley feel about this enormous undertaking? We're all in agreement. Even Mr. and Mrs. Gibson? Who? My research shows that half of Empire Valley belongs to the children of Mr. and Mrs. Ben Gibson. I'm just swing up, Ben. When did you get rich? I'm not rich. We stand together in uh, our desire to clean up Empire Valley. Now, I would be very happy to answer any other questions you have. I just want to make the public very aware that we are all fine here at Lotus Point. You've had a few phone calls already. They can wait. We've got a lot to do. First, uh, I want... All the department heads called here immediately. You don't have to ask Ferrano or Gerard. And Robin, get me Mark Green from Guest Relations on the phone. Right. So just uh, run a recap and I'll see you back there, right? Ben, wait for me. Well, boss, you sure took me by surprise. Any inside dope for your own general manager? I'm really sorry, Ben. Everything happened in such a hurry. I had to move fast to counteract any damage Greg's innuendos might have caused. Where are Karen and Gary? Well, Karen should be here any minute. <laughs> Who knows with Gary these days? Look, Ben, I took it for granted that you and Val would be behind us in the Empire Valley cleanup. It's fine with me. I know this comes as a shock to all of you. I, I really hate doing this to you and your families on such short notice, but... Believe me, the insurance covers it all, and by that time, we'll be back in business. And I promise... What's going on here, Karen? Excuse us, please. Thank you. For what me. is going on? I'm telling the staff we're closing Lotus Point. While I'm out there giving a press conference, telling everyone we're never closing Lotus Point... Why don't you tell the other half what you're doing? Why don't you tell your partners what you're doing? Eric, I'm very sorry, but this is between your mother and me. I'd just like to hear what you have to say. Eric, it's all right, honey. I'll talk to you later. Sure. How dare you, Karen? Where the hell do you come <laughs> off? Closing Lotus Point. I've got as much at stake here as you do, and how did you manipulate Gary into this? I don't know where Gary is. He knows nothing about this. My son almost died because of the water here. If there's any possibility this could happen to the anyone else... The water is else fine, that... Karen. It's fine and you know it. Just the drinking water, Abby. Who knows how long that'll be safe. Oh, stop being so melodramatic. While you're so busy being self-sacrificing, you're forgetting you have partners to deal with. Now, I am... What is I... all the yelling about? My God. Are you aware of the fact that Karen... Karen, by herself, is closing down Lotus Point? No, Karen. Charlie Lee died. It was arsenic poisoning. I had no choice. Well, Abby, what did you expect? Well, I've been here trying to keep Lotus Point open, Gary. Where have you been? I went to Dallas to see if my family had financed the cleanup. Will they? No. There's no oil under Empire Valley, so they're not interested. And I can't sell my family stock, so I'm afraid we're on our own this time. Well, I don't understand what the big problem is anyway. Greg Sumner has offered to buy Empire Valley and clean it up. I don't care what he's offering. I'll never agree to sell.
No. Did I uh, forget an appointment we had or something? <laughs> no, no. I uh, came to talk to you about Lotus Point, and this is something you'll be interested in too, Mrs. Sumner. Oh, I'm interested, in Mrs. Ewing. So am I. Now that we've established the fact that we're all interested, what exactly is it we're interested in? You know, your announcement yesterday did more harm than the pollution. Did you think that was going to convince Gary to sell you Empire Valley? My offer still stands. I will clean up Empire Valley when Gary sells it to me. If he says he'll clean it up, he'll clean it up. I was wondering which side of the fence you'd be on. Look... I want you to know that my two reckless partners would rather see Lotus Point go down the drain than sell it to you. They're, they're like Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. But I have a suggestion. If you would deed the land for 99 years to Gary and give him a written guarantee, I might be able to convince him to sell it to you. Do I need her? All I need to do is wait him out. Well, you might just have a long wait. Karen and Gary just closed down Lotus Point. Hi. Hi, guys. Hey, Mom. Here, let me take your coat. Oh, Do thanks. you want a cup of coffee or anything? No. No? Well, sit down. Take a load off your feet, set them up. Mac, I'm fine. What do you say we all go see the movie, huh? No, I, I really yeah. don't think so. Oh, come on, then we can go get some Chinese food afterwards. Sounds good to me. Oh, for say? God's sake, won't you just let me be miserable? Stop trying to cheer me up. I had to walk around all day with a happy face, like nothing happened. Telling everybody we're reopening when I don't even believe in myself. Mom, we just want you to know how bad we feel, that's all. I know you do. And I feel bad, too. For all those people out of work. For their families. It has to be devastating for them. My head knows I did the right thing. Pit of my stomach. I feel so lousy. So won't you let me be miserable? Look at you guys. Maybe this isn't as bad as... I still have my family. And Eric's better. And we're all together. Very hungry because I haven't had anything to eat all day. <laughs> well, I'll go get some Chinese food. I'll go with you. I love you. I know you do. But I'm going with them. Senator Sumner agree that there is water contamination at Empire Valley. Disease at their hotel. Yeah, you know, I've been calling Sacramento all day. I can't oil the wheels to move any faster. Even if I did, I don't know how long it'd take for the cleanup. The government is not like private industry. You know, I never asked for Empire Valley. I think Galveston knew there was a curse on it. What do you think, Mac? Well, I want to tell you what you want to hear, but I don't know how long it's going to take. It's just going to take a lot of time. Well, I know the longer it takes, the tougher it's going to be to reopen Lotus Point. Damn it! 
But it's some to what with that man? You know, even if I sell it to him for 50 cents on the dollar, I don't think we can trust him to clean it up. Sell it to the son of a bitch. Come on, you gonna have breakfast? Later. Are you gonna get up and get dressed? Later. You gonna stay in bed all day? Look, fine. Stay in bed all day. Relax, kick back. But I want to tell you something, Karen. You didn't do anything wrong. You tried hard. You tried damn hard. I know. All those people with families to feed. How long can I make them wait if I... Would have sold sooner, maybe none of this would have happened. Hey, look, you didn't know the clown prince was going to implicate Lotus Point, did you? Come on, Karen. Look, I got to hustle. No more moping around. And since you didn't join me for breakfast, you owe me for lunch. One o'clock at the beach. One o'clock at the Shamar cell. Okay. Yeah, one o'clock? Good, okay. Let's get this over with as fast as possible. Empire Valley is yours. Lock, stock, and toxic barrel. Peter will have the henchmen draw up the necessary papers. You know, I'll take care of it this morning. I can tell Mr. Ewing is in a rush. Does he have to be here? Careful, Gary. You're talking about blood. This boy's my brother. <laughs> the Galveston boys. The Galveston boys. I like that. Pop did get around, you know. Yeah, well, old Pop stuck me with this waste dump, and now it's yours to clean up. That's the deal I'm making. You clean it up, because I want to reopen Lotus Point, so I'm going to want dates, times, and a hard and fast schedule. If you're playing a game this time, it'll be the last one you play. Mac, would you like another cup of coffee? No, thanks. Do me a favor. Get rid of these, will you? They're killing sure. Me. Hey, Mark, this is the only Shea Marcel on the beach, right? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Uh, would you like to order something while you're waiting? No, thanks. Okay. Abby, Mac. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen Karen? Well, I don't think she came into the office today. Well, it's getting kind of late, and she's not home yet. You certainly don't think she's at my house, do you? No, well, I just thought... Look, Mac, I'm not Karen's keeper. And to tell you the truth, I've got enough problems of my own to deal with. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot. I knew she wasn't here. I guess Mac just wanted to come down because he couldn't stand waiting by the phone, you know? Well, that's the worst part. When you're worried about somebody... All kinds of crazy things come into your mind. They sure do. They sure do. What is it? It's my mom's car. Eric, she never gets her car worked on here. Yeah, well, she did today. She owns Knott's Landing Motors. Why would she bring it here? Look, all I know is that her brakes went out. Her brakes? Yeah, she had a crack in the brake line. Miss McKenzie was afraid a car wouldn't make it there, so she asked me to have a look at it. But she didn't come pick the car up. I gave her a company car. When was that? Around noon. It's number eight on the sign-out sheet. Did she call? No, sir, she didn't call. She was supposed to get back to me, but she never did. Did she say where she was going, anything? No. I figured she decided to leave the car overnight. Let's call the cops. I'm not talking about some spaced out kid who can't use a telephone. This is Karen. Okay, okay. I know it's Karen. Look, we have to ask. You said she's been under some um, work type pressure. So what? It's not going to make her run away from home. Eric, do me a favor, will you? Give me a couple of minutes alone with your dad. Sure. Sit down, Eric. Anything you say, you say to both of us. Mac, I'm sorry. You know I have to ask you this. You and Karen been having any problems lately? No, come on. None of that stuff. About drugs again, is it? Drugs? Prescription drugs. It was a medical thing. But that's history. 
when people have been on drugs and suddenly there's a lot of pressure, um, sometimes they go back. No way. Well, then what do you think might have happened to her? I don't know. But I don't want to sit around here all night wondering either. She hasn't even been gone a whole day. She's been gone long enough. So get out an APB. Get something over the teletype. We'll do something, right? You got a picture carrying with you, something from your wallet? Now, the last time you saw her was when? Yesterday morning. Three days ago, you say? No, this... Yeah, three days. What color Karen's eyes? They're brown. Brown. The emergency room nurse, she was going to check and see if Mrs. Karen McKenzie had been brought in? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know what time it is. 4.20 in the morning. No luck, huh? Mac, I didn't want to press you before when you said you weren't having any problems with Karen. Do you think it's possible? Stand. She's not out running around. Sorry, buddy. Just got to cover all the bases. I know what you're going through, pal. Doing everything we can.